This market employee was assisting an elderly man with his groceries when her boss heartlessly fired her. However, when the market's owner revealed himself, nobody believed what unfolded. Emily was busy stocking rice in the market, deep in thought. She was a determined and hard-working young woman, devoting her time to her job as a stock clerk. That day, the rice brand she worked for was being restocked in the well-known Cross Supermarket, a large chain spread throughout the country. Despite the fatigue from long working hours, Emily had a clear goal in mind, paying for her gastronomy course and the rent of her modest apartment where she lived alone. While organizing shelves, Emily noticed an elderly man with white hair and tired eyes looking confused among the products. He seemed to be in his 70s and was holding a crumpled paper with a list of items he needed. Moved by kindness, Emily approached him with a warm smile, asking if he needed help. The grateful man admitted he hadn't done grocery shopping himself for quite a while and handed her the list. Emily carefully guided the elderly man through the supermarket, selecting each item with precision. As they chatted, the two developed a warm rapport. The man realized Emily didn't even work at that market, but she didn't mind helping at all. Soon, Emily opened up about her life, sharing how her job as a storekeeper was essential to managing her expenses. Her eyes sparkled with determination as she spoke of her dream to open a cozy cafe featuring the best cakes in town. Mr. Williams, the elderly man, listened attentively, charmed by Emily's ambition. He acknowledged her determination, saying, You have a lot of determination, Emily. I'm sure you'll achieve your goals with all that effort. The conversation naturally shifted to Mr. Williams, who revealed that he never did his groceries in person. Emily asked if he had someone to help him. This led to the reason for the old man's presence that day. Hesitating for a moment, he softly explained that he usually had a secretary to handle it, but she was on a day off. He wanted to do something special because his son, who lived in another state, was coming to visit after a long time. Emily's compassion extended beyond her role as a storekeeper. She offered assistance, creating a bond with Mr. Williams. The story reflects the heartwarming connection between two individuals, each with their dreams and challenges, finding solace and understanding in an unexpected encounter at the supermarket. As they continued picking up items, the bond between Emily and Mr. Williams grew stronger with every passing minute. However, an unexpected turn of events was about to unfold, shaking up the ordinary day in the supermarket and altering the course of the simple employee's story. Just as Emily was about to complete the old man's list, the tranquility of the moment was shattered by the sudden arrival of Emily's supervisor, John. John, a middle-aged man with a stern expression and an authoritative stance, looked agitated. He had decided to check if Emily had finished her restocking tasks, only to find her absent from her post. Furious, John went out in search of Emily, ready to reprimand her for taking a break in the middle of her shift. Meanwhile, as the girl and the old man chatted near the shelves, John approached with quick, irritated steps. In a harsh voice, he questioned Emily, his eyes showing dissatisfaction. Surprised by the supervisor's sudden appearance, Emily stuttered momentarily but then explained that she was helping Mr. Williams with his groceries. She pointed out that he was having trouble finding the products, and she was planning to finish the restocking after assisting him. The supervisor, visibly dissatisfied, interrupted her with shouts, emphasizing the importance of the restock tasks. He dismissed her explanation, claiming she didn't get paid to help all people with their groceries and accusing her of neglecting her responsibilities. Emily, in her kind and honest manner, sincerely explained her intention to finish her work after helping Mr. Williams, who was in a hurry to surprise his visiting son. However, John was unwilling to accept her apology. He raised his voice, accusing her of incompetence and putting the brand's reputation at risk with her supposed bad attitude. The unfair accusations and harsh words left Emily feeling disheartened on her knees, and John, unyielding, continued to berate her. The situation seemed dire, with the supervisor showing no understanding or compassion for the kind act of helping an elderly man in need. Little did they know that this unexpected incident was about to take a surprising turn, impacting not just Emily but also the dynamics within the supermarket. John's harsh words left Emily devastated and without a job. She pleaded with him, explaining that this job was everything to her. Mr. Williams, the elderly man, tried to reason with John, emphasizing Emily's good heart and how she didn't deserve such harsh treatment. However, John, displaying an expression of superiority, ignored the pleas and walked away, leaving Emily on her knees, crying. Before we continue the story, we'd like to know, in a situation like Emily's, what would you do? 
Would you beg for your job or would you choose to let it go? Share your thoughts in the comments. The old man, shocked by the unfair treatment Emily received, tried to comfort her, expressing regret for letting her help. Emily, recognizing she couldn't change the supervisor's decision, appreciated his compassion and kindness. With a gentle smile, she assured him that it was okay and that she would find another job. In an attempt to lift their spirits, Emily suggested they continue shopping together to distract themselves from the sadness. The old man was moved by Emily's strength and resilience knowing how essential the job was to her livelihood. Little did they know, a twist of fate was about to unfold. After finishing their grocery shopping, Mr. Williams asked Emily to wait as he dealt with an important matter. He took out his cell phone with difficulty and dialed a number. Emily, watching with curiosity, wondered why he was making a call. Unaware of the crucial role the old man was about to play in her life, she thought he might be calling his son. The next chapter of the story was about to unfold, revealing how this unexpected turn of events would impact Emily's life and bring about a positive change. Mr. Williams dialed the number of the owner of the rice brand where Emily worked. The phone rang a few times before someone familiar answered on speaker. The voice belonged to Jefferson, the owner of the rice brand. Mr. Williams, with a tone of authority, began explaining the situation that had just unfolded at the Cross supermarket in his town. Emily was puzzled, wondering how the old man had the owner's phone number. Jefferson, the owner, assured Mr. Williams that he was willing to help. Mr. Williams detailed everything that had happened, how Emily had kindly helped him, how she was mistreated by John, and how he tried to intervene but was ignored by the supervisor. Listening to the story, Jefferson realized the gravity of the situation, a combination of generosity, compassion, and injustice. He understood the importance of his rice brand's reputation and acknowledged that this unfair dismissal could affect the company's image. Mr. Williams, determined to right the wrong, threatened Jefferson that they wouldn't do any more business unless the situation was sorted out immediately. This revelation left Emily even more dumbfounded. After thanking Mr. Williams for the call, Jefferson promised that everything would be resolved by the end of the day. He was determined to ensure justice was done, preventing any harm to his business. Satisfied with the assurance, Mr. Williams hung up and turned to Emily, who looked at him with gratitude. He explained that he had just spoken to the owner of the brand where she worked and was confident that they would sort everything out. Emily couldn't believe it. She wondered how Mr. Williams had access to her boss. As if reading her thoughts, the old man stepped forward, looked her in the eye and revealed a shocking truth. He was the owner of the supermarket. Cross Supermarket was a recent addition to his acquisitions where he had bought 95% of the shares in the franchise. A wealthy man with several chains of stores, he had someone to manage everything for him. However, with his secretary on a day off, he decided to do the shopping for dinner with his son himself. The revelation left Emily stunned, realizing the unexpected twist of fate that had just unfolded. Emily was completely shocked, blinking several times, unable to process the unexpected revelation. The man who appeared to be an ordinary customer was, in fact, the owner of the place where she had been working for so long. It was a surprising turn of events that she could never have predicted. Realizing the impact of this revelation, Mr. Williams smiled and assured Emily that everything would be fine. In a matter of seconds, the supervisor, John, who had unfairly dismissed her, came running to Mr. Williams. Apologizing profusely, John admitted that he never thought Mr. Williams could be the owner of the market, assuming he was just a regular customer. However, Mr. Williams had a frown on his face, skeptical of the supervisor's sudden change of heart. Turning to Emily, John voiced a sincere apology, acknowledging his terrible mistake and the unfair way he had fired her. Emily was surprised by the unexpected apology. Before she could respond, Mr. Williams spoke, questioning the sincerity of the supervisor's apology. He pointed out that an apology now, after mistreatment, didn't erase the past actions. John explained that he had reconsidered his actions after a frank conversation with Mr. Williams, realizing that his conduct was not in line with the values of the Good Rice Company. Mr. Williams had made it clear that he expected a working environment based on fairness, respect, and integrity, not hasty decisions. John admitted his wrongdoing, expressing that Emily was a valuable employee deserving fair treatment. He pledged to do whatever it takes to correct his mistakes. However, Mr. Williams knew the supervisor's true intentions. He revealed that if John hadn't apologized, he would have been fired. The gentleman didn't accept the apology as he understood that such behavior could repeat itself. 
He declared that John wasn't worthy of managing people and ordered him to leave the supermarket. The supervisor fell to his knees, pleading for Mr. Williams to call his boss, but the old man remained firm. John left feeling humiliated and desolate, realizing he had brought about his own downfall. For Emily, this day became unforgettable. Mr. Williams, turning to her, offered a remarkable opportunity, a job as a manager in his supermarket. In stark contrast to the supervisor, he expressed genuine appreciation for Emily. Mr. Williams emphasized the value of kind and humane people like her in the world. Overjoyed, Emily hugged him and thanked him immensely for the incredible opportunity. The turn of events brought not only justice, but also a positive change in Emily's life. Thank you, Mr. Williams. You don't know how important this job is for me. Emily expressed her gratitude. Mr. Williams, understanding her sentiments, invited her to join him and his son for dinner that evening. This marked the beginning of a close friendship between Emily and the kind man's family. Over time, she felt welcomed by their warmth and kindness. Emily excelled in her job, showcasing unwavering commitment to her position and the values of the company. Her journey from the unfair dismissal transformed her into an exemplary employee, earning respect from colleagues and superiors alike. Not stopping there, she completed her degree in gastronomy and with her substantial salary as a manager, fulfilled her dream of opening a cozy cafe. On the cafe's opening day, her first customer was none other than Mr. Williams, the man who had given her a second chance. Over time, Emily's life took a wonderful turn as she entered a loving relationship with Mr. Williams' son, eventually getting married. Her life transformed not just with a successful business and a husband, but also with the joy of raising children and building a beautiful family. Emily's story, which began with an injustice for simply being kind and helping an elderly man with his shopping, reached a happy and inspiring conclusion. It exemplifies how acts of generosity and compassion can trigger a series of events that not only change one's life, but also deeply touch the hearts of those around them. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and this other story that may be appearing on the screen will most likely move you as well. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.